let's prove the divergence theorem. Remember the divergence theorem says that if E is a solid region with boundary surface S and oriented with an outward pointing unit normal vector, then the double integral over S of F dot dS equals the triple integral over E of the divergence of F with respect to volume, where F is any differentiable vector field defined in all of E. So let's first consider a special case. The special case is where F only has a Z component, so it has the form 0, comma, 0, comma, R. And E is what we might call a type 1 region. So it's between the graphs of two functions of x and y. So there's some domain in the xy plane, let's call it d, and over that there are two surfaces. So the upper surface is the graph of some function z equals g2 of xy. And the lower surface is the graph of some function g1 of xy. So formally, the region E, well, let's label it E here, is the set of xy and z such that xy is in the domain D and g1 of xy is less than or equal to z is less than or equal to g2 of xy. Now let's first calculate the double integral over s of f dot ds. So we could divide the boundary of e into three parts. There's the top, so it's the integral over the top, and the top is oriented up because the um, normal vector is supposed to point outside of the region. And the bottom of the region is going to be oriented down and the side is going to be oriented pointing out like this. So I have the top oriented up. Minus the double integral over the bottom oriented up. Plus the double integral over the side oriented out. And this is this integral of um, f dot ds. Now what's the integral over the top? So the double integral over the top of f dot ds is by a formula for the surface integral over a graph is the double integral of the domain of minus partial g2 partial x comma, minus g2 partial g2 partial y, comma, 1, dot, our vector field, which is 0, 0, r, dA. And because this vector field has no x or y component, this integral becomes very simple. It's just the integral over d. So more precisely, it's the double integral over d of r evaluated where? What's evaluated at the point x, comma, y, comma g2 of xy dA. Now the integral over the bottom is similar, it's just going to have a g1 there. <clears throat> and the double integral over the side is 0. Why? Because on the side of this region the tangent plane is vertical because a vertical vector um, that only goes in the z direction is, is tangent to the boundary. So the um, normal vector on the side has no z component. And when we dot it with 0, 0, r, it's going to get 0. So the double integral over the side of f dot ds equals 0 because 0, 0, 1 is tangent to the side
So the normal vector has no z component. All right, so that means that the double integral over s of f dot ds is this integral for the top minus the corresponding integral for the bottom. So let me write that on the next page. So what we've got is that the double integral over s of f dot ds is the double integral of, over the domain of r of x comma y comma g2 of x, y, dA. So that's from the top. And the bottom gives me a minus the double integral over d of r of x, comma, y, comma, g1 of x, y, dA. OK, now what about the triple integral over e of the divergence? Well, the triple integral over e of the divergence of f dv is the triple integral over e. And remember that we're looking at the special case where f only has a z component, so f is 0, 0, r. So the divergence is just um, dr dz. So it's the triple integral over e of partial r, partial z, dv. Now, if I integrate this over z first, then this is the double integral over d of the integral as z goes from g1 of xy to g2 of xy of partial r partial z of x, y, z, dz, and then dA. Okay, now let's look at this innermost integral here. So here x and y are fixed, and so the partial derivative of r with respect to z it's just the ordinary derivative with respect to z if you think of x and y as being constants. And so by the fundamental theorem of calculus, this is r of x, y, g2 of x, y, minus r of x, y, g1 of x, y. So that's by the fundamental theorem of calculus. And now comparing this integral to the one above it, we see that they're exactly the same. And so that proves the special case. Um, and likewise, other special cases well, so there's a case where um, the region E is between the graphs of two functions y of x and z and the vector field f has the form 0, q, 0. So that's the second special case. And a third special case is where e is between the graphs of two functions x of y and z and the vector field f has only an x component. So that, that was not supposed to be a q, that's a zero. Okay, p zero zero. Um, so these other special cases are proved the same way. You can try one yourself as a as a practice. Okay, and then the general case is for a general region E. Um, divide it into simple regions which are type 1, type 2, and type 3. So which um, um, so to which all of the previous special cases apply. Okay. So my general region E is divided up. I can't really draw this because it's three-dimensional. But it's divided up into some smaller regions EI. And so then by the special cases, 
we know the divergence theorem for each special simple region EI. And then to prove the general case, we look at the triple integral over E of div f dv. So that's the sum over all of these simple regions of the triple integral over EI of div f dv. And then I can use the divergence theorem for each of those to write that as the sum of the double integral over SI of f dot ds, where SI is the boundary of EI. So let's write SI equals boundary of EI oriented out of EI. And then when you add this up, the wherever two of these regions meet, then that part of their boundary is going to appear twice in the sum, but with opposite orientations. And so that will cancel. And so all we, left, all we have left is the outer surface, which is only the boundary of one of the simple regions. So I just get the double integral over s of f dot ds. So when I add up the sum, the interior boundary fluxes cancel out. So this is completely analogous to what we did to prove Stokes' theorem by taking a general surface and cutting it up into simpler surfaces.